there's something else I'm not supposed to say. Ain't but two genders. Two genders. Ain't nothing but men and women. Before I let him finish that statement, actually, let's ask the question. Do y'all think that God makes mistakes or do you disagree with the Bible verse that we're all made in the image of the Lord? I ask that because intersex people exist. And unless you're going to try to write off their existence as being a mistake or a mutation, you have to acknowledge their existence. For y'all that don't know in the back, when I say intersex, people who are intersex have genitals, chromosomes, and reproductive organs that do not fit into the male, female, sex binary. So when we can acknowledge there are individuals that are also God's creations that don't fit within this little static binary of gender that we have set up, what do you say about their existence in the face of God? Is it a mistake? Is it a mutation? Let's see what we got to say now, though. I already see W.R.L. out there. They got their licking their pencils around, trying to write fear and they can't. Get every word in this here. Get every word in this. You can go to the doctor and get cut up. You can go down to the dress shop and get made up. You can go down there and get drugged up. But at the end of the day, you were just a drugged up, dressed up, made up, cut up, man or woman. You ain't changed what God put in you. That this is what I also find crazy. He didn't say nothing about a Bible verse, about a doctrine or nothing. It was just a whole bunch of pontification about social norms that you've been indoctrinated to that really doesn't agree with nothing the Lord would say. I count um, over 15 Bible verses that's about looking out for the needy and the oppressed. And I would say individuals that don't have the binary uh, 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 identity of being male or female or individuals that identify as being trans would probably fall under being oppressed or needy. You see what I'm saying? And to be clear, I acknowledge that intersex people and trans people are not the same thing at all. But I do acknowledge, however, as well, is that the language that y'all usually try to put off to target and weaponize against trans people, that there are other bodies and identities that are also impacted by this horrible, vile language. To the people on this side, if you ever wonder why nationwide the church attendance and membership is significantly down, it's because you have climates and rhetoric like this in spaces of worship that literally demonize people's entire existence and make them feel like their humanity is not even wanted in your place of worship. And I know it's going to be some fake Bill not a science guy biologist that got C's and D's throughout their entire career being in school. You feel me? Try to act like now they biology experts. But let's see what the scientists say about this idea of there only being two genders. And recognize, before you try to have this debate with somebody, you know the difference between sex and gender ain't the same thing. But listen, biologists now think there is a larger spectrum than just the female male binary. Me search over research. Look, when you go to Google and type in biology on gender, you recognize individuals identified as male tend to have one X, one Y chromosome, while one identified as female tend to have two X chromosomes. However, other people are born with chromosomes, combinations such as X, X, Y, that lead them to develop a mix of characteristics. I ask the question again, does God make mistakes or aren't we all, aren't we all created in the image of God? Wouldn't that also quantify for the individuals that have X, Y, Y chromosomes or X, X, Y chromosomes? Then when you think about it, gender is a social construct. Maybe you've heard the speaking point before, but think about when y'all try to add a divinity onto that. You're saying that something that is literally man-made and agreed upon to be a social norm by individuals, humans to be exact, is now divine by the Lord because God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, but then what about intersex people? Yeah, I know you're trying to weaponize this rhetoric against the existence of trans people, but when you do it, it literally causes impact on multiple identities. Education is elevation. Until next time, like and follow for more content.